inflation is defined as a continuous and considerable rise in prices in general. Now, this is what we call a neutral definition. It really tells us nothing about what causes inflation or how to tackle it. A causal definition of inflation might be something like this. Inflation is too much money chasing too few goods. This definition suggests that the cause of inflation is excess demand combined with an oversupply of money. The first definition also refers to a rise in prices in general as opposed to a rise in the price of one specific product. Now that's important. A rise in the price of one good or service on its own does not indicate inflation. We'll take Tandy for example. Six months ago, Tandy saw a bag that she really liked. But Tandy's a student and the bag cost 2,500 Rand. So she saved up for a while, hoping that in a few months she'd be able to afford it. Well, it took a bit longer than that, but here she is, six months later, with the 2,500 Rand. Uh, unfortunately, she's going to be disappointed. The price has gone up to 3,000 Rand. Now, can we say that Tandy's a victim of inflation? The answer is no. We cannot call this inflation. But let's go back to the definition of inflation to see why. Now, remember, inflation is a process of continuous and considerable rises in price in general. The increase in this case was only in the price of a handbag. We can't assume there was an increase in the price of other goods in general. What Tandy has experienced is an increase in the selling price of one product. For all we know, this is just due to market forces. Maybe increased demand for the product or because there's a shortage in supply. This is part of microeconomics, which we covered in the first half of the series. Understanding demand, supply and prices for a single product, whether it's fried chicken or a bag. Inflation, however, is a macroeconomic concept looking at the market for all goods and services, the whole economy, the whole country. Or in other words, inflation refers to a decrease in the general purchasing power of money caused by an increase in the general price level. But it also refers to a continuous rise in the general price level. Let's take Tandy, for example, where the price of her bag went up by 20%. Now, this is not an example of inflation. We can only identify inflation by a continuous, ongoing escalation of prices throughout the market. The last part of the definition we have to understand is that inflation refers to a considerable rise in prices. There must be significant price hikes over a period of time, not small percentages. 